Hey everybody, this is GSC with the Core Gaming Channel. So once again, I'm bringing you Arafel. I'm excited to jump back into this game. Uh, last place we left off, we had used the flute to uh, break down the barrier on the door, and now we can go in, I guess, probably fight uh, the boss vampire. So let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> how this girl just seems to like jump around okay i think yeah i have 25 like I, I don't think i'm gonna need any more than that i remember buying potions uh at the end of last episode or the one before anyway save game uh yes proceed wow what a pretty room i wonder what this place is supposed to be it looks like a church or a cathedral <laughs> Be quiet, girl. I like your thinking. Why was he just in there, like, playing on the organ or piano or whatever that is? Uh, you arrive at last. Welcome, Lita. Hello. <laughs> that face. That hello looking at you like, I don't trust you. Uh, do I even want to know how you know my name? Barrymon, of course. He is one of the eldest vampires, able to step into the sunlight without bursting into flame. A very useful talent, as... You've now discovered he is able to hide himself amongst humans. He managed to convince Adrian to retrieve Deanna's ring after all. What? Baramon did that? One of his servants, I suspect. And now here you are, the ring with you. I'll have to take or I'll have to thank Baramon when I see him again. His plan came together nicely, if imperfectly. Deanna's ring was never meant for you, Lita. Incidentally, I am Lord Nash Azrael. You were supposed to be dead, I think. Uh, leader of this coven, I see my attack on Doran's home has been unsuccessful. Uh, we're still alive, if that's what you mean. It wasn't my intention to kill you. Well, not the girl, at least. The rest of you are expendable. Yet there's no need to expend anyone. I'll make you an offer. Lita, come with me, and I will spare your friends. What? Go with you? No way. I understand your reservations, but there is no need for us to be enemies. Yeah, I mean, even if I believed you, everyone in Eloria is turned to stone. I have to break the stone curse. I'll have that taken care of. I don't wish to see your people turned to stone any more than you do. I have to eat, after all. Uh, the elven shrine you seek is just beyond this door. Side with me, and I will make this all go away. Um, that's pretty promises for a liar. Enough of this nonsense. She's not going anywhere, and neither am I. We've dealt with your goons already. Either you will stand aside and let us pass, or your corpse will. Wow. Um, your decision. I'm afraid you're not leaving here with the ring on her finger, sorceress. If you're going to insist on violence, you quickly discover that I am more of a challenge than my goons. I do insist. I like your thought. Sarah Kessler is just a very bold woman. <laughs> I don't know if I can break this curse or not, but if you're the reason my papa is hurt, you'll pay for it. Ooh. There are so few of my people left, human. We are doomed, yet that ring and the others like it may hold the key to our salvation. The artifacts of power hold the cure, and breaking the stone curse is the first step. The cure? It has been so long since I've seen the sun, human. If he's one, Is he not one of the eldest? I will see it again. I will give you one last chance to surrender. Take it. Come with me, girl. And your friends live. I can assure you, if Lita decided to abandon me, I'd be fighting you both. Yeah, she's way scarier than you are anyways. Let's see just how true that is, shall we? Lita searches the enemy for weakness. He has 2,000 HP. Uh, attack, agility, defense, mind. Wow, he's got a lot of stats. Lord Nash is weak against earth and air magic, but is immune to their status effects. Stone and sh or stone and shock. Okay, and he is also weak against Lita's holy magic. He has access to vampire bite and blizzard. Okay, what can I do? Oh, okay, so he's casting on us. Uh, let's go ahead and drop shot on him. Bop. Wow, that did nothing. I should have done the other thing. 
Wow. So I can just drop like a quick like 500 damage on this dude. Incidentally, I need you alive, Lita, not your friend. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> she said the same thing. Um, Sarah Kisu, what's happening? Magic chains. I've seen this magic before. They'll detonate in time, but they're weak to physical attacks. I can't move, but a well-placed arrow would destroy them. The orb is likely and vulnerable. You'll have to focus on its tendrils. As I had already selected the attack I was going to do. Bop. That didn't do it? Okay, well, that's frustrating. Bop. Okay. What? I... That's frustrating as hell. Uh, I'm just gonna have to sit here and potion forever, apparently. Uh, how many of these damn things does he get? frustrating I'm healing her again I don't know how much those do when they explode but I'm not letting them hmm come on okay nice I still got to oh wow I did absolutely no damage to that dude I don't know. Like, I feel like... Oh, jeez, that's so annoying. Wait, hold on. I can use the Elven Focus. She's 300. She's getting there. Start being able to blow him up again. Uh, I'll just have to make more, or this more difficult. Fine, whatever. Resurrect? He can just magically resurrect stuff. Okay, well, that's great that I was trying to do something with her that I can no longer do. Um. What? Okay, that's not even fair. Try to keep her healed. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Should have been worried about myself. <gasps> no. Oh god, I thought I died. No, come on, leave her alone. I'm keeping her full. Oh, sweet. Um. Bop. And I'm blowing through these potions. Nice. She needs a defense so she can be able to attack again. Because honestly, Lita just does no damage against this dude. Oh my god. Well, let's throw a potion on her. If it detonates, I don't want it to, like, insta-kill her. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get any of these tendrils off of her. Okay, that's one. Come on! I have to use a cup of dreams, don't I? Got it. Frustrating ass vampire. Wow, 15 hit points. That was lucky. I only have so many of those cups. He's got to be close, right? Like. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage, but I would like to think I'm doing something at least.
defend. Defend. Let's just do as much burst damage as we can. Ah, he's still not low enough. Come on. Give me a break. Defend. I like how she heals herself when she defends. That's insane. Okay. Nice. He's got to be getting low. I wish there was a, like, indicator somewhere, but there's not. Frustrating. Just blowing through potions. Oh! Finally! Victory! 10,000 hit points. You found money and other stuff and people leveled up. Nice. Nash Ezreal has been defeated. Throw him out into the sunlight. Make sure he's dead. Because once I give him more blood, I bet he resurrects. Uh, By the goddess, what does it take to kill you things? Sunlight. Go throw him out in the sunlight. If that shrine isn't the next thing I see, I'm going to freak out on somebody. I think you may just get your wish, girl. Let's go. Um, I Why, why don't we just kill this dude? Whatever. Like, legit kill, not just, like, fake kill. See? He opened his eyes. Not bad, girl. Something or other that I didn't read. Well, that's an elven shrine. If I ever saw one, go on, girl. You're the one with the ring. Yeah, well. Uh, it's another one of those shrines, like the one I saw where I found Deanna's ring. Yeah, I mean... As Leah touches Deanna's ring to the stone, the air cracks uh, with magical energy. When it fades, Leah can somehow sense that the magic in her has been activated. Uh, quiet, I think I heard something. Something is... Uh. Sarah Kestu, oh no, this ring is bad. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Greetings, Lita. You've done well to come this far. You. <laughs> She's so pissed. Lita, please try to stay calm. Calm? Calm? I just shot arrows into giant eyeballs. I'm pissed off right now. And now Sarakesu is a statue too. You better tell me what the abyss is going on here. You better do it fast. I understand, child. There is much that is being asked of you. Uh, the world is ending, Lita. Before that, er or Lita, I told you before that Arafel is dying and my people along with it. Nope. Um, it is our fault this is happening. The stone curse is an invention of the elves. We cast it upon ourselves after the battle of Eldrinor, where our last castle fell to the vampires. We turned ourselves to stone so that we might survive. The curse was invoked with six artifacts among them, uh, or Deanna's ring among them. The artifacts uh, contain the magic to cast the stone curse to spread it across Arafel. In time, every Sydney being would either be turned to stone or be infected with vampirism. The vampires would starve when they were weakened. The curse could be broken and all of us would be revived. We did not and do not expect this will succeed, but we are the guardians of Arafel and the Sunstone cannot be led into the wrong hands, even at the cost of all life on Arafel. It was you. You're the one that turned the, my village to stone on you. Alita, please. There was no other way. None of this has to hap had to happen. It's all because of you. Lita, the elves are, were the custodians of the magic that keeps Arafel floating in the sky. If the vampires destroyed us, they would gain control of Arafel's source of power and life, the Sunstone. We sealed it away thousands of years ago. The Sunstone relies on the energy of the sun, but it has been hidden in, in darkness. Uh, the artifact's power can break the stone curse so that my people may release the sunstone and preserve all of Arafel. So what? 
Why do I have to do this? Take your stupid ring back and fix it yourself. Would that I could, child, but this form you see before you is a spiritual projection of my body. I can't interact with the world in this form, and I can't speak, or I can speak only to you because you wear the artifact of power. The magic in that ring has bound itself to you, Lita. It will remain in your possession until your death. You are, as of this moment, the only person who can save us. Why would anyone make a ring like that? Because the, the fate of the Sunstone is too important to let anyone quit. Now turn to your friend, break the curse, touch the Anna's ring to her. Oh, okay, so I get a new ability. Nice. With that, the curse is broken. Please don't tell me I gotta go to like town and do it individually. That's all there is to it? That's all there is to it. Uh, the local effect on the curse. Oh, never mind. So everyone is back to normal. Uh, there's another here. I'll give it to you. Oh, okay, so she just what? Why can't I just pick it up? Why? Why can a spiritual projection give it to me? So I can absorb HP uh, from enemies. <laughs> I really don't know what to say about or to all of this. You don't have to say anything right now, but I have a task for you. One that I hope you'll accept. You must. Uh, find the remaining artifacts of power and time, but to unlock the way to the Sunstone, I will first need something called Soul Stones. They were a gift of my people, blah, blah, blah. Kept at Temple Orleans. Retrieved them from the temple. They then meet me in the Holy Land. From there, we can continue our plan to save the world. Do you understand what I said? Yeah, sure. Uh, good. I'll heal your wounds and take you and your friends uh, from this forest. Come to the Holy Land when you've retrieved acquired the soul stones <laughs> oh nice oh look at the other spirits so cute oh <laughs> there are there else well i'll be lying if i said i wasn't impressed with our progress so far all darren and sir Sir <laughs> um it is so good to see you again the girl has a name you know she is lita how charming <laughs> you have asked her to come to the holy land she has friends. I'd like to take her somewhere that our magic will allow us to speak to them. Fair enough. Lita, ha Lita has done well for herself thus far. Continue watching over her. Can I tell you how wonderful it is, or it feels to be free of that prison we owe Lita our lives? The stone curse is nearly lifted, but there is still much to do and little time to do it. Okay, so apparently what I weakened, uh, I weakened the curse on the elves. So they can actually, like, spiritually float around or whatever now. Ugh. Where am I? Sorry. Uh, well, I'm going to the Temple of Orleans. Uh, Sir Ketsu, you okay? Hey, wake up. Ugh. That's enough yelling out of you, girl. What happened? Sorry I turned you into stone, but I changed you back, and she says the stone curse will be lifted now. Interesting. Where is this... Oh, blood force. Uh, wonderful. Well, let's go see if the curse is really listed. Okay. Um, that's right. I did level up. I want some faster attack speed. You can have it too. All right. Oh, look at them. They're not stone. Yeah, everyone's back to normal. Sure. Let's actually go to the main town. <gasps> oh, Adrian! My boyfriend. I need to save him. Where's the walkway that I... Oh. Did I miss this amount? Yeah, 500 coins. I'll take it. It's a lot of coins for no reason. Jeez, did I... Did I miss a bunch of this stuff? Oh, well. Where is the the thing so I can just... Did I pass it? I probably passed it. I'm not paying attention. Probably a path down. I walked just right past. I bet at some point I'm able to like do something about those rocks that are in the way. Where the hell do I go? Uh, it's probably up here. There we go. <laughs> Let me go down. Oh, <gasps> you are alive. 
Adrian, welcome back to life. You're all right. My uh, head feels a little funny. You're talking something about elven spirits. It will, I, oh, who cares? I feel like I just woke up from a dream. It's a stupid ring. Everyone turned to stone. Asari came and said the vampires can eat stone. I have to go to the Holy Land. And Adrian, they, they tore my shirt. Oh, my goodness. I have no idea what you're talking about here. Oh, I guess it's not torn anymore. How did Asari do that? It doesn't matter. You're all right. Really? The shirt. If you two are quite finished uh, with this little display, I'd rather like to return to Loria. Who are you? That is a long story, and there will be time for it later. Come along, you two. I like how he just joins me without question. Good, good slave tank person. I don't know. He's not really a tank, but... Yep, everyone's back to normal. Good. It would have really sucked if it made you like walk around like tapping everyone. That would have been stupid. Hey, all right, everyone. Or everything's back to normal now. Uh, when was anything uh, not normal? I'm gonna have to tell you later. Lita, Sarakasu. Well, there's my whole party right there. All four of them: Sarakasu, Doran, and Adrian. Um, it seems you've done it, Doran and Sim Simeon. You're not dead, no, but close to it. I'm happy to see you make it home in one piece, child. It appears that no one has any idea what happened to them. No one aside from your family anyway. I think it may be the best to stay that way. I still don't know what happened to me. I can't believe my dumb sister saved an entire village of people. Keep talking, you're going to have a bigger problem than a statue. I have to hand it to you, girl. Frankly, I'd rather expect it were we'd both end up dead. Needless to say, I am eminently pleased to have been proven wrong. Well, yeah, I'm at the helm. Chica, I got this. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Uh, it was nothing really. What? What about Papa? He's resting back at your home right now. I expect he'll make a full recovery. He wanted to talk to you, actually. Oh, okay, well, let's go. Man, so much dialogue. Like, it's just, it's killing me. Oh, Papa, so glad to see you. Injury, blah, blah, blah. They recovered. How's it feel? Much better, Leah. Aw, too bad he didn't turn. That would have made an interesting change. Uh, Leah, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, maybe he's going to say it. Of course. He's a vampire. He's going to turn into a vampire. What is it, Papa? Size. I know I'm hard on you all the time. Oh, okay. He's just giving a lecture. Uh, firstborn, but you came along and wondered if I could ever cope with being a father. I really don't like children oh my god what is this uh when i first held you you were a baby it wasn't until the moment you realized i'd be part of your life oh my goodness i, I feel like this was written by someone who isn't actually a parent uh i just i wanted uh you to know that it hasn't changed we're still in this together that means a lot papa some fathers get to watch their daughters get married i get to watch mine kill vampires well heck yeah that's so much cooler uh you're not a little girl anymore it's time that i accepted it i always be a little girl. I'm very proud of you. Blah, blah, blah. Don't ever forget that. I won't. Go on. Do what must be done. I'll recover from this, and you'll come back, and I'll be a vampire, and you'll have to kill me. It will make an abyss of a story to tell your children one day. I love you, Papa. Feel better. Uh, I just need some sleep and some blood, I think. Uh, good luck, my daughter. That would be really cool if he did turn into a vampire, but obviously that's not happening. Or so the dialogue tells me it's not happening uh everybody i think we need to talk oh come on please stop the dialogue so chris burton broken but i need to do stuff i know i imagine not uh let's start with what the elven sphere told you right uh well at the hunting range she told me airfell is dying but but at airy she told me why the elves guarded something called the sunstone she said it was the source of Airfell's power it it's what keeps us in the sky during their war with the vampires, the elves sealed away the sunstone away in darkness. It's dying, and so is Arafel. Uh If we can find the artifacts of power and break the stone curse on the elves, and they can unseal the sunstone. Er Asari said I would find the artifacts in time, but there's something else she needs me to do first. Asari. She wanted the soul stones, I, I presume. That's right. How did you know? I have my ways. <laughs> Uh, regardless, the soul stones are sacred relics kept under guard at the Temple of Lorien. Uh, their true purpose is unknown, but I believe they are meant to act as a key. Although a key to what, I cannot say. Does Harry tell you why she needed them? Just that they are necessary to get all the artifacts power. Once I have the soul stones, I'm, pr or I'm supposed to meet her in the Holy Land. 
and it has to be me too. I can't take this ring off. I'm the only one that can use this power until I die. Well, this elven spirit of yours is nothing if not cryptic, Lita. Orlean should at least put some distance between us and the vampires, and I've been hoping for the chance to return home. At any rate, the vampire lord we defeated at Eri said something about a cure. A cure to what? I do not know, but he wanted Lita alive. I don't know what they're up to, but whatever their plan, it's safe to assume we haven't heard the last of them. Uh, this really all happened while I was a statue, Abyss. If I had just never taken Lita to the ruin, then the Sunstone, if this is true, would still be locked away and Arafel would surely die. Of course, that's another part of the tale you slept through, Adrian. We were attacked by someone I believe was a friend, Baramon the traitor. He is a person who bid you to find the ring. Uh, from what I know of the topic, I can tell you I believe that Asari said it's true. It's not a lie or trick. I think you should do as she said. Lead of the Soul Sun should uh, be your next objective, whatever their intent purposes. Okay, uh, do you intend to follow through with this, Lita? Well, obviously. Come on. I think Asari was telling me the truth. And if she is, then I have to do it. Uh, let's settle Tempelorian. Uh, Loria will support you, blah, blah, blah. Perhaps position the castle for aid. We can raise an army. With respect, I don't think uh, that would be wise just yet. Elder, the villages will, or the villages will be left defenseless. And an army will attract too much attention. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the plot line of, like... Um, Lord of the Rings. So we are creating the Fellowship of the Ring to go to Temple of Lorien. Uh, and Lorien would react poorly to an army showing up at his doorstep. I think we should travel in a small party for the time being and arrive at Orlean as friends would. Perhaps that is so, but I will begin to preparation regardless. If an army is needed, I intend to have one. Gotcha. Let's, let's get this done. Fellowship of the Ring time, guys. Uh, too much to say... Oh, just come on. Is, why are we just reiterating the same dialogue over and over? I fear... Ugh, just stop. Oh, Lita, please be careful. Why is she called Erica? Why isn't she called, like, Dad? You know, like... Or Mom. <laughs> I almost lost your father today. I don't want to lose you, too. I will, Mom. Okay. Uh, just... Yes, Cave of Life is blocked. Off by soldiers from Castle Alana. However, Lady Miranda... Uh, by Lady Miranda. I do not know why she has done this. It is peculiar. That is the only way to access Deanna's Gully, which, what good is it to closing it off? We will need to speak to her Ugh, at the castle. Leave it to me. I happen to be acquainted with the Lady Region, currently ruling in his stead. Dare I ask what capacity? You're not the only person I have history with Doran. We'll leave it at that. Now, th that sounds like almost like a relationship type statement. Um, anyways, I will be in the temple if you need me, Lita. May the goddess watch over you. Thank you. I think I'm going to need her. Adrian and Dorian have rejoined Lita. Yay, and I have Sarah Kesu already, so... Boom. Um, damn. I got three points to put in, huh? Um, yes. And for him... Get some defense there. Probably make him a little bit... Uh, wait. Let's raise his... Um, oh. Yeah, we'll just do that. Or, there we go. Alright, we accomplished quite a lot. I'm going to stop it here before this episode gets too long. But I guess from here we got to find the soul stones. And uh, we probably got to level up some to be able to do some of these areas that I've explored. Uh, so we'll do all that in the next episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more like it, there'll be options here on your left-hand side. And if you want to subscribe and support this channel, please do so here on your right-hand side. And as always, thank you for watching. Keep gaming, and I will see you in the next episode.